so I'm in the uh, floodplain, a river floodplain in North Florida, and it's November 6th, and I'm going to look for some salamanders today, and I have one particular in this area, and it's a marbled salamander, opacum. Um, it's really neat finding salamanders in Florida. I never thought I'd see them when I was growing up as a kid, but... Certain places in Florida have them, especially in North Florida. So let's uh, take a look around in this area here and uh, see what I can find. Just move this uh, log a little bit and bam, there it is. My target. This time of year is when you get them and uh, Look at this little guy. These are so cool. Yep, marble salamander. Opacum. North Florida. Just such pretty little salamanders. I never thought I'd find salamanders in Florida. And uh, I guess within the last Seven or eight years, I found tigers and these and some others. So that's what I do in the winter times. Go looking for salamanders now. Find them in Florida is just such a cool treat. So I'm gonna put this guy back. Move this log. And go look for some more. here. Let's take a look underneath. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here's another one. Nice. Nice marble salamander. Perfect time of year. They lay their eggs under these rotted logs and leaf litter. And then when it rains, the eggs either wash down into the uh, lower areas where the water is, or they hatch right then when the water fills up with them and the, the larvae come out. And the adults will leave, or else they'll drown. But that's uh, how they reproduce. And then the larvae will be in ponds like this, little tiny ponds. And they always come back to the same spot every year in the rainy seasons in the winter. So these guys are just waiting for the rains. Beautiful. Opaque up means beautiful. Okay, get back in your little crack there. Breed on. Nope, nothing on this one. You always want to put the logs back like you got them. So that way next year you can find some more. You don't want to disturb them. Oh, barely see it. Look at that. Wow. Sometimes you can see the eggs if it's a female. There'll be a little, these little round pellets here, but not really seeing any. So, there's another one. My third one. Wow. So cool. It's 
salamanders. After snakes, they're my favorite. Really like them. The whole natural history too. How they breed. Really cool. Oh yeah. There's one. Another one. Wow. A bunch of them today. This is actually a spot I've found them before. So, once you get a spot like this, you're pretty much sure to find them every year. Trying to get out. Cover him back up. So you can see this uh, like white mold that grows under these logs, and then the black soil, and that's where their camouflage comes in play when you flip them. There's another one. You can see how the camouflage comes into play here. Looks like there's a, a rodent nest here. Wow, it's a lot of them this year. What a beauty! So cool. That was the uh, marbled salamander in Florida. Uh, I try to herp the seasons, and in the winter time, I uh, look for for salamanders because that's uh, the only thing that's going to be moving around or able to find due to the cold, wet weather. And it's the only time that you can actually find some salamanders is during the winter when it's cooler and wet the uh, natural history on those was just so cool they uh, they congregated these small depressions waiting for the rains to fill up the ponds the eggs will hatch the females stay with the eggs until the rains come and, and flood the area and the eggs hatch right away a little like black balls, like BBs, and they're black because they're covered in dirt. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Hatch into larvae that grow to uh, adults, and they leave the ponds, and the whole thing is done again. They go back to the ponds that they uh, were bred at. so important to keep these ponds free from chemicals and any type of other toxins that could just totally ruin it. A lot of times the feral hogs just tear up the ponds, eat all the larvae, eat the salamanders. It's really sad I've seen some of that happen. And you've got construction. Once it tears up a pond, that's it. It's a whole population to be gone have no place to go back and breed in that area so pretty sensitive uh, you've got some definitely sensitive amphibians in Florida so anyway I hope you liked the video I hope it was informative and stay tuned for the next videos I put out